Now, the last thing I want to talk about is this learning cycle one page sheet I made for you. It just gives you an overview of how one chapter would go. We just walked through it on this video. I highly recommend printing this out for the first chapter so you get used to the process. It's just step by step how you could see the learning work. Um, remember here, formative is going to be 20% of your grade and summative is 80. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do here is just what it says. Pick up your note packet from me in my room, do your chapter opener, maybe take a look at the calendar to see what the plan is going to be for the next week or the next month. Then you're going to start your daily learning. Uh, this is how you're going to go about through the daily learning. Is there an applet that's going to be scored as formative? Um, take your notes, try the practice. Notice here the stats homework quiz and the stats multiple choice quiz are both highlighted in blue. Those are formative assessments that are graded. That's 20% of your grade. You do have three tries. It measures the last score, but you must be 80% proficient to move on. You're going to repeat this process until you've gone through all of the daily learning for that curriculum. Once the daily learning is done, folks, then we just move on to that free response learning. Right? Do an initial write-up of, of a free response, then actually read some student responses and comment. These are formative assessments that will go into the 20% uh, category. Read the actual rubric, print out your free response of a brand new question, try it and upload it, which is another formative assessment that can be resubmitted one time for a different grade. Then we're going to get ready for the review. So you try the review assignment um, and it will get the answers at the end. Then if you have any questions from that review or from prior learning, go to the review discussion uh, session and post your initial questions uh, by, by 8 a.m. on that day. I will respond by 3 p.m. on that day. Students can also come and just visit this discussion board to see what questions were asked and to help answer questions too. Continue using this platform um, as you prepare for your test to put more questions on there even after this initial day that the discussion is open. Next, you will take your paper-based multiple choice exam. Remember to find your designated testing area and hour. Uh, if you take it on the day scheduled in Schoology, that is considered the due date. Remember, you have an optional testing day of one additional week beyond that, which is the deadline, when you must get it done by then. And an AP formula sheet will be supplied for you for that exam. Following that, the next day is the free response portion of your test. Again, go and use the flex scheduler to go to your appropriate place for testing. If you do choose a test on an optional date, you will still use that flex scheduler to come on out and see me for testing. Now, if the test did not go well and if this is one that is retakeable, you can go ahead and follow the retake process. Step one for that is you first have to make sure all formative assignments are complete in Schoology. If not, you first have to complete them. Following that, step two, come and see me and we will get out a tracker and come up with a relearning plan for you, give you some extra practice problems to try related to the problems you struggled with. Step three is then time for you to actually do the relearning problems and see if you have any questions. Step four, then you're ready to retake your exam. Remember, there is a two-week window for that, and it's um, after the day that the scheduled testing scores were actually posted into Skyward. So if you delayed your initial testing and took the optional testing date, you will not have the full two weeks. It's only based off of the initial scores when they were posted in Skyward. I'll be thoughtful on choosing to do a retake because the second score that you get is the final score that's posted, even if it's worse. And this is the overview of how a typical chapter will work.